Tallahassee, where we are hearing from State Senator Lauren Book, who was arrested last night while protesting the controversial abortion bill, which is sailing through the Florida legislature. Book is out on bond tonight, but she says her fight against a bill that would ban abortions after six weeks is far from over. Local 10 Sonella Sabovic is live now with the debate for us. Sonella. Well, Calvin, State Senator Lauren Book said that the arrest happened last night rather quickly, that she and Democrat Party Chair Nikki Freed, they wanted to stay with demonstrators, offer their support, because as you mentioned, she tells me that the fight is far from over. On the heels of her arrest following her participation in a peaceful protest in Tallahassee. This is how we have to fight. Democratic State Senator Lauren Book is speaking out about a six week abortion ban approved by senators on Monday. 75% of Floridians don't believe that we should be passing a six week abortion ban. That is, let's make no mistake, an all out ban on abortion. Not mincing words about what she says it will do once passed. I know women and girls across the state of Florida will die. They will not be able to get the health care that they need. SB 300, also known as the Heartbeat Protection Act, cuts the current 15 week ban to six weeks. It allows exceptions to save the life of a woman and exceptions in the case of pregnancy caused by rape or incest until the 15th week of pregnancy. In those cases, a woman would have to provide documentation such as medical records. Well, this bill was passing off the floor, the governor was signing a bill where you don't have to have papers to purchase a deadly weapon, but women have to show papers to prove a rape and incest exemption to get an abortion. Where are we? What are we doing? SB 300 would only take effect if the state's current ban is upheld in an ongoing legal challenge that is before the state Supreme Court. Dr. Deborah Molin, a professor with Texas Women's University, says there's a lot of misinformation out there about abortion. Once people understand the issues, um, they're a lot more compassionate to people seeking abortion and people affected by these laws. So what's next for SB 300? Well, it has to go to the House for a vote. That should happen at some point next week before it hits Governor Ron DeSantis's desk. Definitely more to come with this. We will keep you posted every step of the way. For now, that's the very latest here out of Northwest Miami-Dade. Sonella Sabovic, Local 10 News.